The astrophysical ob observations that you describe were also very surprising over the past 25 years, in particular that the universe is not just expanding, uh, which Hubble observed and realized, but that the expansion is getting faster and faster, it's accelerating. That's a real surprise, and we give it this proxy name, dark energy. How does dark energy tie into this larger story? Yeah, I there's mean, look, astrophysics, large space, and then there's the, these small microphysics of the colliders. Yeah, so you're absolutely right. It is a big surprise to learn that, that space is filled with this, we believe, diffuse energy. It's called dark energy. It doesn't give off light, which gives rise to a repulsive gravity that is pushing things apart, causing the expansion of space to speed up over time, the accelerated expansion. And so one question is, can string theory give insight into the existence or even maybe the actual amount of dark energy? And this is something that people have spent a lot of time thinking about, especially when you look at the amount of dark energy in, expressed in the appropriate units. It's an utterly bizarre number. It's a number that, you know, is a decimal point followed by about 120 zeros and then a one after it. That's the amount of dark energy in the correct units, the natural units. The fact that it's not zero is vital. We believe it's what's explaining the observed accelerated expansion, but that's not the kind of number that we're used to finding in physics. We're used to finding numbers like one, square root of two, pi, e, you know, numbers like that. We don't have these crazy numbers. So you ask yourself, is there any way that you could ever do a calculation and have this number pop out? And the approach that string theorists have largely come to is of a very different sort. It requires a kind of rethinking of the very nature of reality. And we can discuss it if that fits into your plan. But it's, again, something that makes people very uncomfortable to hear the place where explaining that observation has taken us.